وحقق إذا رمت شيئا ولا تسم بوهمك ذات الورم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم The first worry mentioned by the Sheikh is همو الإخلاص The worry of sincerity That sometimes a student can feel that he is worried is he sincere or is she sincere in their seeking of knowledge and sincerity the topic and the concept of sincerity is a very very great topic in Islam as Imam Shafi'i rahimahullah said that the hadith innama al-a'mal bin niyat enters into 70 70 70 chapters of fiqh however from that fiqh which is obligatory upon every person to know is that when they are seeking knowledge then they must have four uh, intentions so you can call these four intentions or you can call these four principles in regards to a person's intentions when seeking knowledge the first is qastu raf'i jahl an an nafs is to remove ignorance from oneself the second qastu raf'i jahl an ghayri is to remove ignorance from others the third qastu hifz al ulum min al dhiya' is to preserve the religion from it being lost and fourth is to act upon this knowledge so these four remove ignorance from yourself and then remove ignorance from others and then to preserve the Islamic sciences from being lost and fourthly to act upon this knowledge uh, these are the four intentions that a student of knowledge must have and Shaykh Usaymi mentions uh, some lines of poetry that he wrote for a person to memorize these four principles he says وَنِيَّةٌ لِلْعِلْمِ رَفْعُ الْجَهْلِ عَمْ عَنْ نَفْسِهِ فَغَيْرِهِ مِنَ النَّسَمْ نسم يعني الخلق وبعده تحصين للعلوم من ضياعها وعمل به زكن so he says ونية للعلم رفع الجهل عم and the intention for knowledge is to remove ignorance عم عن نفسه from himself فغيره من النسم and then others from him from the creation وبعده تحصين للعلوم من and then after that is protecting the sciences from ضياعها being lost وعمل به زكن and then acting upon it so that he can become firm so a person if he finds that he is thinking about his intention at first that is a good sign that he has a care for his intention and that his intention is correct so she he, he or she should thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, for that and this happened to many of the salaf that they actually start to seek knowledge without an intention or maybe with not the correct intention but the because of their care for their intention, it became rectified and their affairs became upright. For example, Ma'amar ibn Rashid rahimahullah said, كان يقال إن الرجل لا يطلب العلم لغير الله فيأبى عليه العلم حتى يكون لله. He says that a man would seek knowledge for other than Allah, but that knowledge itself would reject to be except for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Imam al-Zahbi, rahimahullah, he comments on this in Seer A'lam al-Nubala. And he says, yes, he seeks it first because either he loves the knowledge itself or he loves not to be considered ignorant or to get a job or whatever the case may be for something else. And he does not seek knowledge for to be sincere in it or to be truthful in it. But then the more he learns, he takes himself into account and he realizes the wrong intentions that he has so then the correct intention will come slowly where the parts come or all of it comes at one time and it will take place of that incorrect uh, intention so a student of knowledge should not fall into the traps of shaitan if shaitan comes to him saying that you have the wrong intention do not seek knowledge then you should ignore that rather we, what we have been commanded is not to fall uh, into a trap of shaitan by listening to the whisp- his whispers and stop seeking knowledge Rather, we have been commanded with sabr and musabara. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu sabiru wa sabiru wa rabitu wa attaqullaha la'allakum tuflihun. All you who believe, have sabr, have patience. And uh, have musabara. Musabara is having patience upon that patience. And have the taqwa of Allah, and you will become successful. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, وَالَّذِينَ جَاهَدُوا فِيْنَا لَنَهْدِيَنَّهُمْ سُمُّ لَنَا Those that exert efforts for our sake, then we will guide him to the straight path. So this is regarding the first worry, which is the worry of ikhlas.